Guys, what's happening? As you all know, I'm car crazy, so I've decided to get myself one of these. It's a digital tread depth gauge. The reason I got this is because I was checking my mum's tyre pressure the other day because she was going on a journey and I noticed her tyres, the tread, were a little bit low. I didn't exactly know how low they were, so this is why I've actually bought this. I tell you what, if you do look on a tyre, I've got one here, there's little tiny indications here. These are basically the own gauges or markings to let you know if you've got enough tyre. Over here, the legal limit in the UK is 1.6 mil. So down there to the top of here is 1.6 mil. I don't know what it's like in other countries. But basically what you do is just put your finger in, feel for this, and if the tyre goes over here, it's fine. If it's level with that, it means you need to change them. And if it's below, that's really, really bad. As you'll know, tyres are one of the main things you need on a car for safety. The tyre pressure, as much as the tread, especially in the rain or the winter, but back to this anyways, on the front here we've got large LCD display, uh, we've got zero settings at any position, you've got metric in inches, system interchange, it says manual power on and off, I would have preferred that it turned itself off, so it'll save the batteries, but yeah, it says suitable for tread depth and it says down here, brake shoe and pad way, so you can check it on your brake shoes and pads, but I just use, I just go by looking at them. I'll know if there are specifications are all here. If you want to check these out, I'll move this a little bit closer and focus on that for you. And this is way big things to tell you. It says uh, keep the gauge clear, no water or oil on the bar, and remove the battery when not in use for long periods. Display flashes when the battery is low. Oh well, that's a good thing. It indicates that the battery is low. So down here, you've got all your little things, what they are, so you can change from inches to millimetres, on and off, zero, that's where your battery goes. That's to pull it back and forth, and there's your little bar for the depth. I've got a little staple here, so I'm just going to open this this way. Move that to the side. So this is what it looks like. There you go, you've got a little red button there for your on and off, and your zero to setting. Pull this out. And there you go, we're on, we're rocking and rolling, and I guess if I push that, yeah, that moves along. And then to turn it on and off, just press that. So I don't know if you can see there, but it's running in millimetres at the moment. So if I press that one, that runs in inches. But we're going to put it in millimetre, because that's what I want. What you do is, get a flat surface, any surface. So I've got the little bar out, and then you just press this down, so it's totally flat. And then you press zero. So if I slide that up, and then I do that, it should go roughly to zero, which it has there. It's just a tiny little bit off. So I'll hit that again. I'm going to do one more time, third time lucky. Run that round. Press that, and there you go. That's zero. Move that out of the way. And we're going to come over to the tyre. This tyre should have about 8 mil because that's what they do when they're brand new. So I'll slide that out, and it's on 13.2. And then if I... Put this in, we'll put it in the middle, put it there, and as you can see, that's roughly 8, roughly, roughly. Slide it out again, and I'll go over here, we'll try a different point. And there you go, it's roughly 8. So that was me just showing you that anyways, because I thought it's a really cool little gadget, and if you've got a car, it's always a nice thing to keep in, so you can check how much life is left in your tyres. Back again, one last thing, just to show you how to get this off for the battery. You just take that and then I'm guessing you just tap that, so there, the battery's out. One thing you could probably do with it, I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back and we're going to try something, see if this works. I've got a, little, I've got a little pin here. What you could do, when you're not using this, which way does that go? Does that go that way? Yeah, that goes that way. So as you know, this is what I got. When I first pulled it out, we're going to try and see if this works. Be careful what you're doing with this because you, you're pretty much on the circuit board. So what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see under there, but I've put the pin underneath and I'm just sliding this along so the battery isn't on the little, uh, the little metal thing so it makes a circuit. So if I put this back on, or in I should say, and then it doesn't turn on and off. And then if I pull this, 
There you go, it's back on. So if you want, you could do that. And it's a little bit of a faff on, but it doesn't really take that that long. If you get used to this, you could you could do it in. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you what. We'll someone's got a stopwatch. We'll try see how fast we can do this. So slide. Put that on there. Put the put the battery in it. Put this on top. Ooh, come on, come on. It's always the case when you're trying to go fast. And there you go, that's uh, that's sealed that, so next time you want to use it, you just pull it out rather than losing the battery, because you, you probably will lose the battery if you take it out. And that's it, the end of the video, game over.